Hello, my dear YouTube friends. So I put up a video this morning about uh, property in Clematis, which is uh, a beautiful vine. Um, and I have lots of them growing outside. And I got a comment that said that she wasn't sure exactly what I meant, as in which part of the Clematis went up or down or what, what then was the top. So I thought I would clarify. So instead of just putting a note, I mean, I did, of course, put a little comment, but instead of just putting a comment, I want to actually give you guys a little walkthrough and just show you again just a tiny bit of what exactly I meant and, and show you a close-up. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't actually shoot much of a close-up in the first original propagating the Clematis video. So I'll give you that now. And it's really windy outside, so I don't know how well this will work, but bear with me. Okay. Can you see me? Good. All right, so here's what I've got now. If I, this is what they look like. Um, I only did the ones, I only did like seven or eight. So just what you saw um, in, in the show this morning, that's all I put in. Now I'm gonna plop, I'm gonna pull a few out and I'm gonna show you what they look like. So, hey Lily. This is the finished piece. Okay, so originally it would have been on the vine going this way. Let's see. You know what, I'm really not sure which way is up and down at this point because there's no way to tell. But it does not matter because if the vine was going this way or this way, what you're doing is you're cutting all of this off. So there used to be a little leaf stem here and of course here and then the three leaves on either side. So what we've done is cut that off, turn it over, wound the bottom so it wants to repair itself and then uh, it produces roots. And we just leave this small little bit of a leaf so that it has something to give it some food so photosynthesis can still take place a little bit not too much now I did this uh, a few days ago of course it was posted today but I did it a few days ago and you can see it's not wilting this leaf is still really good partially because the water or the dirt in here can you see that it is so let me look at this this is what's going on ah! And just drain it out on the floor. There are holes in this little wooden box, but it's been raining so much that it's just it's completely saturated and the water can't get out enough. So I'm going to have to put all these in the sun and try to let them dry and um, maybe put a, a little stick in the bottom and try to get the water to go through. But what I really want to show you is just that, that this is the top, this becomes the new bottom, make sure you wound it, and it's just going to produce its little roots. now looks like I'm pulling them off it looks like it's already started a few little pieces when you put it in the ground just kind of slip it in like that and then paddle around okay um, so what I want to tell you is the clematis that you see growing on this uh, pavilion behind me let's see yeah so this clematis that you see growing here behind me, this is three things. We've got um, a grape over here. There's, there are five grapes and a whole bunch of bushes all growing over here. It's, it's very, very tight. Behind me there are the clematis. I think there's seven. Six here, another one, seven, eight. So there's about eight or nine clematis growing behind me and up. And if I tilt, see how it goes way up? Like it's just, it's amazing. So last year I planted these and they did really well and they got all the way up to the top and they were just starting to move around the top here. And then this year, of course, this year they went wild and all of this you see here, this is all new growth. Um, when dealing with clematis, always remember if it blooms before June, don't prune. It's a little saying I like. I actually use that a lot in the garden. Like, hmm, blooming before June, don't prune it blooms after June well prune away that's okay but blooms before June don't prune so this particular clematis June's before prune <laughs> blooms before June so I'm not gonna prune it I never prune it it just goes crazy it gets as long as it wants to and it only will flower on old growth so next year everything that's here now will have flowers on it and the following year and anything that grows new next year won't have flowers on it until the following year so that's an idea Coming up, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to break up these hyacinths and plant them in the garden. I also have some daylilies and some irises and uh, some ornamental grass that I took out of my mother-in-law's garden. I went in there yesterday and I 
took her whole garden, I pretty much ripped the whole thing out and split up all her plants, moved them all around, made them more intricate and interesting, and then of course they're going to grow. And I will show you an update on that, which will be really cool because it's her house, not my garden. Um, but I have to wait until the plants recover, of course, because nothing really likes to be transplanted. So that's coming up too. And if you see over here, I've got a little bit of harvest going on. Things that I've taken out already. Um, some of the cucumbers, <laughs> the rabbits. I think I put these two low on the ground. I'm going to have to raise this and put a few boxes on top because the uh, the rabbits are obviously nibbling and having a little heyday there with uh, eating those cucumbers. So that's not good. Uh, most of this is going to get juice. So I'm very excited about that. I have to make a nice big salad today. Yeah, so that does it for today's update. Um, I know this isn't actually a today's video on gardening, but it is a little update. I hope that helps clarify with the clematis and give you a little tour of what's going on and, you know, all that good stuff. So I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we'll be back to propagating. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Toodaloo.